Let's talk about this UFO hearing today, the second big congressional UFO hearing today in Congress. We finally moved past the bullshit, everyone. Finally, zero point energy. The actual technology is finally starting to get discussed here. Yes, like we've already established, they, the United States government has alien bodies. They have biologics. That's already on the record from the last congressional hearing. We don't need to rehash that. Yes, the United States government has these advanced technologies. Yes, the United States government has these crashed UFOs. They've had them for decades. Basically, any idiot knows that by now, um, or you're just willfully ignorant. So we don't need to rehash all of that once again. Now, you had Michael Schellenberger there, journalist Michael Schellenberger, Luis Elizondo. Uh, you had a number of other individuals, Rear Admiral Tim Gaudet also there speaking. So you had some pretty powerful house powerhouse individuals speaking in front of the Congress today. Michael Schellenberger put out 212 pages of UFO evidence and government cover-ups to Congress. He handed that over. In fact, he had to basically tell Congress, hey, you guys, there's a secret program at the Pentagon. It's called Immaculate Constellation. You guys should probably know more about it. And that's one of the big things that they were discussing today during this hearing, um, that they have thousands of high quality UFO images, videos, FLIR camera images, all of it. You had Luis Elizondo, of course, who worked in the Pentagon. He just stated under oath that the government UAP program secrecy is, quote, all to hide the fact that we are not alone in the cosmos. We all know that. But watch. Over the last decade and a half, I learned that certain UAP programs were and are operating without any of these elements. Although much of my government work on the UAP subject still remains classified, excessive secrecy has led to grave misdeeds against loyal civil servants, military personnel, and the public, all to hide the fact that we are not alone in the cosmos. Yes, we are not alone in the cosmos. I think we all know that. And some very important, though, on the record discussions. But how these alien craft travel using etheric energy. Um, I, again, I, I, we're, we're done past the bodies part of this whole hearing. We got that. We know that we have bodies, right? We know that we have the craft. So how exactly are they traveling? And finally, we started getting questions about etheric energy, about zero point energy. I encourage you to watch my deep dive interview about the disappearance of MH370 Malaysian Airlines with my with physicist um, Ashton Forbes. It's a I think it has almost two million views here on the channel. I go and watch that interview. He's ast he's astound astonishing. Um, uh, Nikola Tesla knew about etheric energy. And then, of course, they stole all those documents and they hid all of this technology right after he died. The FBI did, of course. So the U you know, UFOs have a way of extracting energy from the environment, from the air, um, negative energy. And it's all free. That's the thing. All of this energy is free. And so this is one of the big disclosure things we might now see under Tulsi Gabbard as head of the director of national intelligence. Also, the new director of the CIA, which we'll get to in a second. So a lot of bigger revelations specifically around the technologies piece during this two hour hearing today, which I watched. Um, but Representative Luna asks specifically about UFO energy sources and whether or not it would impact humanity for the better or for the worse. Of course, it would be for the better. But, you know, we got to ask. We got to do this little dog and pony show. But watch. Perspective is, is A, that true? B, are you guys hearing the reports of that? And C, I think moving forward in regards to technology, Mr. Gold, if you can answer this real quickly, some of these aircraft, it seems that they are operating off of energy that we don't currently have. Uh, but just yes or no, in your opinion, if we were able to obtain that, would that impact humanity for the better or negative? It would certainly save us some money on funding on Artemis. Definitely. And this is a national security issue, that mm -hmm. if there is such technology out there, we're not the only country that might have access to it. We don't want to be on the wrong end of technological surprise. So, yes, we we have this technology. We've been using it for a long time. All of this technology is well known within the United States government. You're not you're not idiots. And it's being used by the United States government as we speak. During this hearing today, whistleblower Rear Admiral Tim Gooday said we have satellite video of UFOs, lots of them, in fact. And hopefully Congress will make mandatory to release these videos to the public. Um, again, he's an admiral. He sees it all. And by the way, he's specifically been on the beat talking about all of the underwater UFOs that have in the in the ocean off of U.S. Navy craft, that they see them regularly. Talk to any person who's been on one of these U.S. Navy destroyers for any length of time. They've all seen them, by the way. Talk to them. Journalist Michael Schellenberger said we have full motion video, FLIR camera videos, infrared videos of UFOs. 
And by the way, he talked about low Earth orbit satellites. So we have all of these low Earth orbit satellites that are able to capture in color these UFOs, full color video, just like this. This one was leaked by a whistleblower, of course. This is MH370, the missing Malaysian Airlines. And watch as the three UFOs that in perfect triangular formation come right around MH370. And zoom right here. Wait, here, there's the second one. And here the third UFO comes in. And then you'll watch as then, of course, using this um, etheric energy, the zero point technologies, make the craft disappear. And so the United States government is responsible for this. Watch as the, the, then the airliner disappears um, right, right, right here, I believe. Oh, oh, right after this cloud. Watch. Here we go. This is an unbelievable video. And it's been confirmed. This is 10-year-old video, by the way. Uh, there we go. Disappears. And that aircraft, of course, gone. What? So Zero Point Technologies, uh, they've been recovered from these UFOs. The United States government uh, has them. The capabilities of this technology are monumental. We're talking faster than light travel. Uh, imagine never needing to get in an airplane again because we already have this technology. But they're keeping it from you because they like to charge you for energy, of course. Instantaneous travel. Unlimited energy that's pulled from the atmosphere. By the way, Trump's new head of the CIA... I'm hoping that he is going to disclose this. This is John Radcliffe. Um, he has been pushing for US to UFO disclosure. He will now be at the head of the CIA. He was trying to get this done while he was head of DNI or at DNI. Now Tulsi Gabbard will be at DNI. So hopefully as head of the CIA under Trump, we'll see more of this. So yeah, more on, and by the way, we're trying to get uh, the Rear Admiral Tim Godot on the show. I've been e emailing with him. So hopefully we'll have the Rear Admiral. He just testified in front of Congress today um, and to have him come on and talk about some of these technologies that he's seen as admiral in the United States Navy. Well, we're so, seeing a media uh, one melt. Thing, one thing, oh. oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, I just want to chime in. Like, so if, if, if they, if they do like disclose this and we find out that the government knew they were there, uh, you know, but didn't want to tell us like, that's, that's one thing. But if they come to find out that they've had this technology, they have zero point energy and they know how to use mm -hmm. it. Like we should all be incredibly pissed that they've kept that from us because like they, they have, they basically set us back. Yeah. And so, like, I, if, if it comes out that they've, they've actually had that technology, I'll be pissed. They have. And I've spoken to sources that know of this. And one of the sources I spoke to, an expert, watched as they used this technology on a human limb that was missing, and they were able to regrow the limb. So not only it's travel, ultra-fast travel, lightning-fast travel, but also the health implications of this technology. It's, uh, it's astonishing, and we should all be pissed about it. Think about eliminating cancer like we have the technology that eliminates cancer mm -hmm. we have the technology that doesn't make me have to go to the freaking airport and wait in six hour flight delays to travel somewhere i could go there instantaneously but they keep what it do you from mean us. by beaming i'm talking about zero point energy fast travel light yeah. light you know light travel so they have this technology they're using it they're keeping it from us and i'm glad wait, but that why wouldn't you have to go to the airport you could do zero oh, point technology from your house maybe have you ever seen star trek i could just stand on a teleporter pad and be able to go i don't know how exactly it would work in practice um and what sort of craft but anyway now we're getting into like i didn't what realize type of, that this was consumer based technology. it will be okay. it could be <laughs> well i mean when nikola tesla had it and had the and, i mean that's the thing when they when he died and they went to his uh his apartment in new york city and they and the fbi took all of his materials yes yeah and they hid it from us because he had discovered etheric energy and his plans to make all energy free to all of us where we okay. wouldn't have to pay an energy company at all all right i mean come on people wake up Wake up, wake up, wake up.